The news has been making round as regards T.B. Joshua's atrocities while alive. The BBC, the British Broadcasting Corporation of England, has done an extensive and lengthy documentary as regards his atrocities. But looking at T.B. Joshua, T.B. Joshua anointed Kobos Van Riesburg. While T.B. Joshua was alive, Kobos Van Riesburg was in his church and it was like, it was T.B. Joshua that imparted Kobos Van Riesburg. And now we've heard a number of times about Apostle Joshua Selman saying that he got his anointing in South Africa by Kobos Van Riesburg. He talked extensively, he used to talk extensively about how he met him and how he gave him a bottle that contains anointing oil and so many other concussions that he brought back to Nigeria and that was what kick-started his ministry. Now looking at the fact that T.B. Joshua anointed Kobos Van Riesburg, Van Riesburg anointed Apostle Joshua Selman, are we now looking at the linkage between these three men of God. If T.B. Joshua is said to have committed atrocities and Apostle Joshua Selman was anointed by a man that got anointed by T.B. Joshua, is the ministry of Apostle Joshua Selman credible? Is it not hewn from the same rock of T.B. Joshua? Tell me what you feel in the comment section.